hi guys and welcome back to my channel okay so i made these cake toppers within i think within the past two or three hours yeah so in this video i'm going to be showing you guys um the method or the tricks i use to make cake toppers hard really fast like you know when you make a cake topper you need it to firm up really fast and usually most people like to make it days in advance but sometimes i kind of forget or like the days i forget or the days i maybe like didn't realize okay i might need this and i don't make it in advance i have a way of making a gum paste that firms up within 30 minutes it firms up really fast and the cake topper can stand on its own so look at these cake toppers that i made yeah they're made out of fun i'm going to show you how to make that gum paste that is really firm and like firms up really fast okay so let's get started yeah so you're going to be needing some fondant see how firm this is yeah and this was in less than three hours actually okay so look at this fondant that we have so what you want to do is take a piece of fondant and in this case you're going to be using 200 grams of fondant yeah so 200 grams of fondant you want to take it and knead it really well you don't want it to be sticky so you don't want, and you don't want it to knead it with vegetable shortening because that way it to become more sticky and like more you want it to be firm as firm as possible so you want to make sure you need it with just cornstarch or some um powdered sugar okay so you want to knead it really well and make it as pliable as possible so once you are done with that you want to add some tidus powder um tidus powder is also called cmc depending on what part of the world you live in i live in ukraine so it is called sms <laughs> And that's because Ukrainians do not have a C, they have an S in the alphabet. So, <laughs> so in this part of the world, it is called SMS. In where you live, it might be called Tylos powder or CMC. I don't know. But in Ukraine, it is called SMS because C is S and S is C, if that makes sense. Okay, so once you are done, you want to take some Tylos powder or CMC. Yes. They write CMC only, but they call it SMS. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Anyways so to that we are going to be adding three teaspoons of to 200 grams of fondant we're going to be adding three teaspoons of sms yeah so the sms you want to make sure the teaspoons are leveled don't take a teaspoon right now you want to level the teaspoon and apply it and you're not going to use it all at once yeah you're going to use one teaspoon at a time knead it into the fondant and then do it again okay so now we're going to take a level teaspoon and then we are going to apply it put it in our form we're going to make a well basically in the middle of our fondant so it doesn't pour out that's what i like to do see how firm this is yeah that's what we are trying to do right now we want it to be really firm and really fast because we're using we're using like this much yeah okay so you want to take one teaspoon and you want to put it in the middle of your fondant like you want to make it well in the middle of your fondant and then you will knead it together so that's what we're doing right now and if you want to know where to get CMC from or Tyler's powder or SMS, whatever it is you call it, I'm going to leave links for you in the description box for you to buy some of my favorite tools. I have some favorite tools I use in my cake decoration that makes my life easier as a self-taught cake decorator. So I'm going to put the link in the description box for you guys to check out below. And at the same time, I'm going to put the link for you to, you know, buy this CMC or Tyler's powder if you like to buy it and it is very cheap and nice okay and the brand i buy also okay so knead it as much as you can and then now that we've kneaded in one tip teaspoon we're going to apply the second teaspoon in the middle just like we did the first one and we're going to knead 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 yeah sorry I'm such a clown i didn't need the first one in very well so i'm needing the second one plus i cut some part of this video so it won't be extremely long so it to be like you know not too long for you guys anyway so you just want to make sure you need in all four all three teaspoons of silos powder into your fondant and then you're going to have this really pliable nice stiff fondant but the thing is you have to use it really fast because it firms up really really fast so you have to make sure whatever it is you're forming you're forming really fast okay so guys if you try these out please let me know and tell me what the results are please give me a thumbs up in on this video and subscribe to this channel thank you so much and i will see you in my future videos bye